Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. It is never a dull and boring moment in crypto finance and the stock market. That is why I love doing daily market updates. Now today, ladies and gentlemen, my entire news feed is BlackRock. BlackRock this and BlackRock that. It is full on. They are obviously going for a Bitcoin spot ETF again, which... I'm just waiting for Gary Gensler to deny anyway, to be honest with you, but you never know. BlackRock is BlackRock. They've got a lot of money. Anyway, we've got some updates. And of course, it is a given on my channel about Ripple and XRP. Uh, again, partnering up with Columbia Central Bank. Of course, we're going to go through the BlackRock uh, spot Bitcoin ETF. We'll see what happens with that. Of course, we've got Bitcoin shorts lose $16 million and Coinbase giving a big FU to uh, the SEC and actually moving forward with their staking rewards. So there's a little bit happening today. It's still a little bit dull in the news, but there's always something new happening. But anyway, let's get into it, guys. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you to those 58,000 plus people. You guys absolutely rock. If you are new to the channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well because as you can see right here i love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos dividend stocks growth stocks talking about passive income building financial freedom and of course my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth so come along this incredible journey things are getting weird wonderful and insane in this space also if you can give this video a thumbs up watch it straight through it would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the youtube algorithm is absolute magic when you guys do that all right so make sure you give it a good old thumbs up down there don't hold back give it a good old thumbs up it's down there it's free you watching this video absolutely rock also a little disclaimer i am not a financial advisor please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff all right now straight to the community tab as i do but we're again 10 trillion dollar uh obviously 10 trillion dollars under uh management right here blackrock has literally just filed for a, a spot bitcoin etf it's going to be very interesting to see what gary gensler actually does with this do you reckon he's going to deny it maybe not who knows anyway i think it's bullish to be honest with you uh because it's getting institutional money into this space okay and uh where before institutions just putting that out there and again blackrock i mean you know, they were offering Bitcoin and Ethereum trading to their wealthy clients. Anyway, we're before the wealthy clients. Anyway, crypto bots. Yes, they're doing insanely well today. Everything is back up. I'm just going to quickly show you. Yes, this is where I do them. It's all in the Patreon. I've got 25 USDT picking up 2.9% today. 1.49% again, 31 or $30 USDT right there. And this one's still up. Pepe, 29%, 325 USDT. I do have more that is set up in the Patreon. And yes, OKX is an official sponsor of the channel. Now, moving on, uh, link is below for the Patreon, guys. We have the altcoins up in my portfolio today. Acro, Neo, ICP, Theta, and Reserve Rights. There you go. The full list gets posted up every single morning, like every single day. It's crazy when I'm having my espresso in the morning. And yes, my coffee machine has absolutely shit itself. It's blown up and I will be getting a new one this weekend. Anyway, let's go to CoinSpot. This is my other channel. Oh, I should say channel. This is my other exchange that I actually buy my cryptos in Australia. Guys, there is a referral link below. Please feel free to use that. You will get $10 in Bitcoin. Now, CoinSpot also is a sponsor of the channel as well, which is incredible. So, and it's only for Aussies. All right, just making that very clear. Anyway, the prices you see here are in Australian dollars. Everything else is set to USD. Bitcoin sitting at 37,000 Australian dollars today. You've got Ethereum at uh, 2,400, down 0.99%. XRP's at 71 cents, still freaking undervalued. And I did buy some today. I did buy some today. Now, obviously, ADA, 39 cents. You've got Solana at $22. Litecoin, I did buy some of that today as well. 112, I am up on my investment. Uh, moving uh, along here, we've got Matic at 87 cents, dot $6. Chainlink is another one that I bought today as well. Put that up in the Patreon, $7. You've got XLM is 11 cents. ICP, $5.91. Hedera, again, I bought this today. Six cents, very undervalued. Quant is at 144, the bane of my existence. I, I should have bought more when it was uh, 80 Australian dollars. But anyway, I'm still up in that, can't complain. V-Chain doing nothing still, two cents. Algo's at 16 cents. Moving down some other favorites. 
Herbert Stater is at 97. Axe is at $7. I am staking that, earning some pretty crazy interest on CoinSpot, by the way, with no lockups, which is good. Uh, of course, we've got Gala at $0.03. Cents. Uh, we've got XDC at $0.04 cents, as well as Casper, another one that I bought today at $0.06. Cents. Very, very nice. Just dollar cost averaging. And Pepe is up 10.63%. That is why you've seen my bot up nearly 300 USDT, which is really nice as well. So that is in the Patreon. Anyway, let's go to Crypto Bubbles. Yes, the Wall Street Bull University. Love this community, guys. It's growing every single day. Again, I put up all my buys, my sells, my crypto trading bots, full-length instructional videos, which took me a while to do, but uh, that's all up in the Patreon. Very, very nice. The news, my indicators are up in there as well, which do work really well. Uh, some pretty crazy trading platforms, which again, it's just wild. Anyway, go and have a look at that as well as my dividend investing. I did put up uh, my upcoming dividends in the portfolio and uh, you guys can have a look at that. So again, join the community. It is very bullish. The Wall Street Bull University, okay? We make money in the university. Now, moving on, crypto bubbles. We've got a whole sea of green here. Hex is back up now uh, to 17%. I'm not invested in Hex. Again, it's under a cent USD. If you're into it, cool, that's fine. Obviously, you've got Pulse Chain as well, 20.6% today as well. Again, I just want to point out I wasn't really, a f I mean, look, I'm, 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 I like to see people succeed. However, I mean, Richard Hart has basically stopped putting up a lot of his uh, cars and jewelry and shopping. I don't know, man. It's a bit strange for me, but each to their own. Anyway, you've got some other gains here. Of course, Pepe is up 11% today as well. I do have the trading bot set up on that one. Just trading. That is it. That's all I'm interested in, guys, is buying low, selling high. Uh, and of course, we have buying opportunities still. Again, I bought Casper today, 3.3% at $0.04 cents USD. Very, very nice. Uh, again, let's have a look here and see if we can find XDC. Again, undervalued, in my opinion, at $0.03. Cents. Very, very nice, up 2% today. And of course, we have Litecoin. Now, I don't know where that is because I'm half blind because I'm looking at computer screens literally all day. I think I need to get some glasses. But anyway, let's have a look here. XRP, 1.7% to $0.47. Cents, all right? Still incredible buying opportunities. We are before institutional investors. Let that one sink in for a moment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, we've got Ripple and SEC seem to agree about not taking Hinman's speech seriously. SEC emails obviously illuminated ex-officials' 2018 view on Ethereum, which Ripple's top lawyer said was used to destroy and disrupt US crypto. But this probably won't steer the agency, uh, sorry, agency policy right here. Ripple Labs, SEC seemed to be on the same page about the documents right here known as the Hinman emails. The former official past remarks shouldn't govern current policy. Despite the rush of attention this week on the insider deliberations that went into the writing of the five-year-old speech, William Himmon, the former head of the SEC's Corporation of Finance Division, the agency's past uncertainty over the status of Ether, never amounted to formal commission-approved rules or guidance. Now, obviously, so the dialogue over the part, obviously, over the ex-officials' one-time remarks may offer some insights, uh, but it is unlikely to move excuse me, the needle on agency's crypto policy right here. Sorry about coughing so much. Anyway, nothing in these documents creates precedence or establishes law, said Andrew uh, Hinks right here, and a lawyer at KNL Gates, big firm, who co-chairs this digital assets practice. And at best, the emails give a helpful snapshot of certain SEC staffers' views on some issues at the point in time. So it is useful useful for those trying to understand where the agency has been coming from on the crypto as securities debate, but there's nothing the SEC can uh, obviously can be held to, Hinky said. Hinkies, Hinks, Hinks, whatever. Very interesting right here. Now, more bullish news about Ripple and XRP, but every bank in Japan will use Ripple's XRP, says SBI's CEO, which is enormous. Again, the CEO of Strategic Business Innovator Group, SBI, his thoughts on Bitcoin and Ripple, and Ripple XRP is expected to gain massive adoption in long term, according to uh, Yushitaka Kitail. Is that how I pronounce it right? Anyway, the CEO of SBI right here. And again, every bank using this, this is going to be global. It's not just going to be SBI, it's literally every bank around the world, apart from the United States, because of Gary Gensler. Once he's out of the picture, they will have full adoption. Anyway, can it drive the price to $5? I think it's going to soar past that. And obviously, the Ripple verdict could spark a new bull market. And I agree. And obviously, the final quarter of 2020 saw the launch of precedent-setting lawsuit by the SEC. And obviously, of Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson right here. The allegation raising north of $1 billion in 2013, which is absolute BS. They had pre-funding. Go look it up. 
And now the implications of Ripple's bold choice to challenge the lawsuit in court, um, obviously, guys, far beyond the company. The judge could become the Rosetta Stone for determining whether the cryptocurrencies are deemed securities, which they're not. They're not securities. The Ripple victory could fuel a new era of acceptance, investment, and confidence in digital assets, a new bull market. And defeat, on the other hand, could uh, hinder the mainstream adoption, prompt the SEC to pursue similar cases, increase market volatility, and drain talent from the United States. That won't happen. I don't think Judge Torres is going to allow that to happen. I just got a funny feeling. Anyway, more news about Ripple. Partners with Columbia Central Bank right here, bullish for XRP. And this is going to be basically to push their central bank digital currencies, right? And as it happens, Columbia Central Bank, Banco de la Republica right here, has announced a partnership with Ripple alongside the Ministry for Information Communications Technologies to implement Ripple's central bank digital currency platform, according to a press release on June 15th. Again, I don't like uh, central bank digital currencies. I just think it's ridiculous. Anyway, this is today's news, but BlackRock, Bitcoin, ETF, good or bad, what are the, t the chances right here? And again, the rumor has come true. The world's largest asset manager, BlackRock, has filed a Bitcoin spot ETF application with the SEC right in the midst of a freaking lawsuit going left, right, and center about crypto. Not that they give a stuff anyway, to be honest with you, but BlackRock is choosing coinbase despite the sec lawsuit and while the news sounds extremely bullish for bitcoin the community is wondering whether blackrock's entry into bitcoin is good or bad and for many years bitcoin spot etfs have been seen as the holy grail for bitcoin in the united states to attract huge amounts of new capital so far various asset managers have cut their teeth at the sec when it comes to bitcoin spot etfs i think it's good in my opinion, that this is happening because it's just showing that mainstream want to get into this space. And when they see, like, this is what I'm trying to explain. When you see returns of like 20 to 30% in like 30 days, of course they're going to jump into it. Do you think they're not? Anyway, Bitcoin shorts lose $16 million as BlackRock ETF filing sparks bullish outlook. And total crypto market cap rose nominally with Dogecoin leading the games among major tokens. Hopes surrounding the potential US Bitcoin spot ETF right here uh, by investment giant uh, BlackRock spurred the slight change in the market movements on Friday, fueling a bullish outlook among some traders. This is just the beginning. Imagine if all of the institutions start getting into this space. And the beautiful thing again, we're before them. Now, I love this, but Coinbase doubles down on USDC rewards to 4% amid the SEC scrutiny and staking services, which is like a big FU to the SEC. And Coinbase said on June 15th, the tweet that it now offers 4% rewards on USDC, which is not much. And Coinbase newly increased reward rate means that the company has approximately doubled its previously offered returns on USDC. And as recently, June 9th, the company's website said that the customers could only earn 2% purchased or held on Coinbase account. And Coinbase said today that the reward, the, the, the reward rates are subject to change and noted the most up-to-date rates can be viewed within customer accounts. And the company has not added 4% reward rate to the latest version of its public USDC page. Very nice. I like to see that. Big F you to Gary Gensler. We've got money flowing into Ethereum, Bitcoin, Doge. I'm still holding mine, by the way. Pepe right here, Ape, which I think is a freaking security. Anyway, I've been saying it for a long time. We've just changed right here. How good is that? Sorry, guys. This is what happens when you're recording. But anyway, Solana, XRP, which is nice. Monero, that is popping up a lot lately. Now, let's go to Twitter. And yes, my entire feed is about blackrock anyway i'm at the wall street bull go follow me on there guys sorry the wall street bull oz make sure you check the blue check mark i'm giving this bull ring away when i hit 100,000 subs the sec has known since 2018 that xrp is not a security of course bill morgan right here putting out some interesting stuff but it was also the position of the sec staff in 2018 involved in the hinman speech they said it was the, a rule that the token was just a bit of code and not the security facts mark cuban putting out some interesting stuff right here but again he's going after the sec and crypto smart contracts are about six years old maybe the name isn't accurate but your utility is valid 90 percent of blockchain companies will go broke 99 percent of tokens will go broke just like 99 percent of early internet companies did 99 percent of startup companies leveraging llms will disappear but the winners will be game changers. That's the way tech works. Amazon, Google, all of these tech companies, guys. I remember Yahoo stock went parabolic and it just crashed. That's why I'm so bullish on Ripple and XRP because, again, it's being used by banks literally right now. Anyway, 
Terraformer Labs will get an answer on its motion to dismiss the SEC lawsuit by this time next month. The U.S. judge told the company it is argued in court on Thursday that TerraUSD was not a security. Freaking huge. BlackRock, yes, $10 trillion. You've got billionaire investor Mark Cuban took aim at the former SEC. John Reed Stark right here supported financial regulator in the case against Binance, accusing Gary Gensler of throwing crypto startups under the bus. Welcome to the club. Crypt's Larson right here. I'm not going to play this, but it's a very good interview with Chris. Go and have a watch of that, guys. And we've got Michael Saylor predicts the next logical step for Bitcoin to 10x from here. Nice. And this is huge, but BRICS considers Bitcoin as an alternative to the US dollar. China, Russia, India, South Africa, crazy stuff right there. And of course, we've got the partner of my channel as well, OKX, now gaining a license in Dubai. Very nice work, AK, oh, sorry, OKX guys, really, really nice. And this is funny, but BlackRock CEO Larry Fink calls Bitcoin an index of money laundering. And now he's basically filed for a Bitcoin ETF. It's amazing how things change. Anyway, Vitalik putting out BS tweets back in 2020, calling XRP a shit coin. Nice, mate. Nice. You're not really classy like Brad Garlinghouse hating on projects. Bats back then. Go watch this clip on my Twitter page, by the way. This is awesome. It's a, like a cartoon thing, guys. Reminds me of like a 1990s uh, Nintendo game, to be honest with you. And Hong Kong tells major banks to accept crypto companies uh, as clients, which again is really different to what's happening in the United States. Anyway, let's go to Coin Market Cap. Yes, this is my portfolio. Top gainers are Nexra, Acro, AGIX, ICP, CFX, Ubix, T Fuel, Amp, and Super. All of these lists go up in the Patreon every single morning. I do that myself. And this is where my money's going the banking coins right here. I'm not going to get into all of them, but. I mean, freaking hell, look at this. This is where the real utility is right here. These projects, come on. I could go through all of them. I should do that, actually, put out a video basically going through what each one of these projects and who they're actually working with. I mean, that's the main crux of this, to be honest with you. But guys, XRP, absolutely king. I would love to see this soar and start the next bull market and overtake ethereum wouldn't that be nice but anyway that is it guys join the patreon linked below join me on social media as well guys very very bullish i'll speak to everyone in the comments community tab stay safe have a good evening morning afternoon wherever you are in the world and i will speak to everyone tomorrow all right stay safe guys peace out bye